So before I get into today's video, I just want to make a quick disclaimer, which is the fact that investment is a risk. It's a gamble. There's no necessary guarantee that what I'm about to say will come to fruition. Do do your own due diligence. Don't take my word as the fountain of all knowledge about sets that are retiring that will be worth more money in the future. Do look into it yourself based on what I'm saying. It's just a bit of information from years and years of collecting Lego and um, selling Lego further down the line as well. Um, and it's just a bit of educated guesswork. Do do your own due diligence. Don't just take my word for it. With that, let's dive right into the top five sets that I will be looking at as potential investment pieces as they start to come off shelves at the end of 2024. Starting with the 18 plus black box helmets and Cody and Leia are both coming off shelves at the end of the year. These are sets that I would absolutely recommend in terms of picking up from an investment point of view. You only have to look back to the Boba Fett helmet and the Thai Bomber helmet as well. These helmets always tend to appreciate in value so it makes pretty good sense to grab hold of one or two if you're looking to invest. They're also been on sale as low as about £40 with Amazon and I expect them to be on sale again before the end of the year. The Speeder Bike Chase and the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama are both coming off shelves at the end of the year and these both would make good investment sets in my opinion. Ten, again, for the same reasons of the helmets, the black box 18 plus sets tend to do quite well. These sets are designed to be bought by people with disposable income and these sets are obviously aimed at adults. You've only got to look back at the um, most recent 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back diorama to see that this is significantly increased in price and you've also got a significant increase in price on the Emperor's Throne Room play scale set. But like I did say in the retirement list video, the Emperor's Throne Room is £90 here in the UK, so I will be looking to try and grab that for as low as you possibly can. We've seen it for £65, and if you can get it closer to the festive season for around that £60 or £50 mark, it is absolutely one to look at for the future. The next setup comes with a huge disclaimer and it's the price tag that it comes at which is the £700 AT18. Now this set probably will appreciate in value over the course of time. You only have to look back at the Star Destroyer from two years ago to see that that has also risen in price but with £700 being the original price tag it will be one of those sets that have priced a lot of people out of investing in it including myself but if you can grab hold of it and you've got the income to do so it is probably something that will appreciate by a couple hundred pounds over the next two to five years. The next setup is the Yavin 4 play scale set and this set was gifted to me by a very generous follower on the channel last year. This set I believe will appreciate in value over the course of time. You only have to look back at sets like the Ewok Village to see just how much these types of sets appreciate in value. 12 minifigures, an original trilogy set and a very nice set as well. I think if you can get this set for less than £100, if you can get it in that £80, £90 price tag before the festive season, I think that is the time to pick it up. And I'll close out on the Master Builder series series Moss Eisley Cantina. This is a set that I picked up a couple of months ago on the channel where I knew it was retiring and I knew I had to have hold of it. Over 20 minifigures in this set. Once again an original trilogy set. The only caveat with this of course is the same thing with the AT80 which is the very high price tag that it starts at £340 here in the UK. If you're financially able to invest in this set I do think it will add a couple of hundred pounds over the course of time to its shelf value. There is over 20 sets retiring for LEGO Star Wars at the end of the year and if you haven't seen the retirement list video go and check it out um, and do do your own due diligence on sets that you potentially want to look at for investment purposes. Please don't just take my word for it. Do go and do some research yourself as well. I hope you did find this video informative. If you did, please do give it a like and make sure you are following or subscribed so you don't miss any of the LEGO Star Wars goodness that will be coming throughout the rest of 2024.